of us marched behind Dr. Martin Luther King, whether it was with him in his parade or someplace else, especially those who were born in the 30s and the 40s and uh, the 50s. It's also a distinct honor for me to be here on these grounds that make up the community of Royal, these historical grounds that make up the community of Royal. My name is Bill Fisher. I'm speaking today not for the sophisticated gents, not that I'm ashamed of them because I think we do great work, <laughs> the sophisticated gents, and you'll see some of my brothers are around, but for the Rights and Justice Task Force of Sumter County. Rights and, uh, the Rights and uh, Justice Task Force for Sumter County is an ad hoc uh, committee made up of mostly retired citizens in Sumter County. Uh, our group is a small group, but there are, oh my gosh, there's a doctor in it, there are writers in it, there are businessmen in it. Uh, it's a collection of really skilled people. There are a few of us that are lawyers that are in it. Our purpose and when we formed was right after the passage of the restoration of voters' rights for felons. Right after that, we formed. That was back in December. The, no, when we formed. Right. Follow along. Uh, okay. Uh, Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it amazes me that the law that it overturned was passed in 1868. 1868. It was an old Jim Crow law that was aimed primarily on freed slaves or ex-slaves. And it was a law that basically said felons can't vote for the rest of your life. And back in those times, in Jim Crow time, what did they do? They create, there was, everything was a felon. Hey, you spit on the street, if you were black, it was a felon. You came out after dark at night and you were black, it was a felon. So there were just tons and tons of felons, therefore tons and tons of blacks that were excluded from their voting row. This new amendment, it's not amendment four now, it was amendment four on the ballot, it's amendment five, I believe. I believe now in the Constitution or something like that. Um, what it does is it restores the rights for a certain class of ex-felons. I'm going to try not to use that term to describe uh, the people that are described in the, uh, in the amendment. We're going to use returning citizens because these people, even though they went to jail, they never lost their citizenship. And in my mind, most of them should not have lost their right to vote even. In my mind, as well as in the mind of everybody from Maine and a few other states up north. So it passed in November, became effective in uh, January the 8th. Uh, again, the purpose of our task force uh, was to get information out to different communities, different sections of the community about the, uh, about the amendment, what it provided, and to lend any assistance, if necessary, to anyone who was interested or who may be interested in following up on the process of getting their voting rights back. And I'll explain that. What the amendment does it restores the rights of, like I said, a certain class of felons. Those felons who committed murder or sex crimes are excluded. They're not included in this amendment. They're, they're excluded. Why logically it doesn't make sense to me, they should be excluded, but they're, ex they're excluded. All other felons are included and their rights are automatically restored when one, all terms of the sentence is completed. All the terms of the sentence. That means if part of your sentence was a fine, you got to pay the fine. If part of your sentence was restitution, 
you have to pay restitution, but I'm hoping that there are some really smart lawyers that are working on this one, given the amount of some of the restitution. Uh, it, it, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, there are some smart, and, I, and there are a lot of smart lawyers down here in Florida, uh, the, the ACLU, we hope. The other is, um, we already did sex crimes, fines, probation. and probation and parole. So if there's any probation or parole. Now, in regards to the probation and parole, I understand it to mean the probation and parole connected to felony convictions. Whether or not it's Mr. Meaners goes along with that, um, that has not been decided uh, yet. So complete your sentence, all the terms of your sentence, and uh, your, it, it's automatic. If those things are done, then you have the privilege of registering the right to register to vote. That's the next step. What we offer to do, that is the task force, if there are any questions, if there are any concerns, if there's any aid that may be needed, my two minutes is up. Uh, <laughs> uh, if there are any concerns about it, if you have any concerns, we've joined with Miss Beverly here, and if you are interested, see Miss Beverly, sign up with her. She'll set a date and time for us to meet in the Young Center. Again, thank you so much for listening to us. Again, it's a glorious day. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.